It's just like Dyson. Revlon One Step Air Straight versus Dyson Air Straight. Is Revlon better? Let's test it out. Revlon One Step Air Straight, $79.99 US dollars versus Dyson Air Straight Straightener, $499.99. Let's start first with the Revlon. So this is essentially a hair dryer plus a straightener in one. So in one step, you're going to straighten your hair and it's going to dry your hair at the same time. So dry your hair and straighten, so style one step. There we go. So this right here, you will kind of have a mixture of Dyson and GHD Duet in one. So it does have hot plates in here to style your hair afterwards, after it's dry. The drying settings, you have a cold, cool air, low air, medium hair, medium air, and high hair. So four different settings. All the settings are right here with a typical Revlon one step dial system. So we're going to go on the highest. It's just like Dyson. The air doesn't come out when the plates are not pressed together. The biggest difference I already see is it has a comb right on one side and then kind of like an indent with the airflow coming through, like the air vents. Usually with the Dyson, I have to go two to three passes. Let's go two to three passes with this one. Right there, the top. Round four. Hair is still, hair is still damp. Six. Seven. Let's tap a seven, even though it still feels a little damp. Okay, let's go with the Dyson. Just um, changing my settings to uh, wet hair, highest airflow, highest heat setting. That was three. Three wow. versus seven. Twice as many. There you go. That's the difference. And the Dyson is actually dry. Revlon is still pretty damp, especially towards the roots. But let's do the entire head. Andre's going to time. We're going to do one side first and then the other. Pulling the hair. Oh, it's actually not bad. Andrew said it was about 10 minutes. Wow, 
Oh, you guys. That was pretty good. That looks really good, actually. All right, one thing, my thumb, you can see it's how red it is. It is cramping up because it's so wide. So you have to constantly just go back and forth, back and forth. And you really have to keep the uh, plates closed because the airflow, it's not directional. So it's kind of going all over the place. So you do have to keep it closed for the airflow to keep going. So that was just the drying with the Revlon <coughs> One Step Air Straight. Honestly, did a really good job. I'm actually pretty impressed. It still feels a little damp, like towards the roots. It's not as smooth. <laughs> it's a little damp, but I'm gonna, hopefully it's gonna air dry a little bit by the time I finish with the Dyson. And then I'm gonna take just the heated plates and we're gonna smooth and straighten out even more to see what kind of a sleek result we can achieve with the Revlon One Step Air Straight. There we go. How many minutes, honey, for the Dyson? Five and a half minutes. And the thing is, I'm done with the Dyson. I don't need to use heated plates. I don't have to use the cold or the dry heat setting on the Dyson because this is the result that I achieve with just drying and styling my hair at the same time. Like this is a massive difference. But the Revlon, Still would still work, man. Still did a great job. All right, so now I'm going to go on the heated plates only. You can also do the hot air with the heated plates. Should we try both? So again, they have two different settings for heated plates, which is only used on dry hair. So you could do heated plates with the hot air, or you could just simply do the heated plates with no air, which I think is really cool. They give you two options. And I'm using, again, the heated plates with the air. Ooh, okay. I feel like I don't need the air because I think it's just adding frizz. <laughs> so let's just do the plates only. And it turns off, you can see the white that's with the air. So now you know you're not using air anymore. But that did something. Look at the yacht. All right, let's do it again. And again, this comb, these plates, you have to be careful so you don't rip your hair out because it can pull and it can be quite uncomfortable. Look at that. Nice. Okay. Let me brush my hair out, make sure there's no kinks before I put it through that. It's adding a little bit of shine back, but I'm not able to get like really close to the roots. I do like that I can let my hair go, the section of hair, and just let the comb do my, do work for me pretty much. I think that's pretty great. This just more movement, it's shinier, it's 
really sleek. I mean, just very shiny. And again, five and a half min minutes versus this, at least 15 minutes with the drying and then using just the heated plates. This still has way more frizz. Yeah, you can see there's a little bit more volume, but the volume is my frizzy hair because it's not as sleek, but it is shiny. It still has movement. It looks good and it also feels good. I want to see my ends with this because my ends are not very straight. Yeah, they're not very straight. Versus the Dyson. Like if you want the sleek look, seriously looks like I took a flat iron, a hot, hot flat iron, like 400 degrees Fahrenheit and higher to my hair. What a difference, but the Revlon One Step Air Straight does work. Let's talk about the pros and cons of the Revlon One Step Air Straight. So pros, number one, price, $79.99. It pretty much took three different hair tool technologies and put them into one. Hair dryer is the first technology. Second one is the hot plated combs, like a heated hairbrush, that's a second technology. And third technology, the heated plates literally hair straightener. I will say it's not as good as a hair straightener, a typical hair straightener, but it delivers and it does a great job for 80 US dollars. We're under a hundred dollars. I think that's phenomenal for three different hair tools. Moving on, next pro. I do like that they give you multiple options. I like that you can use the airflow and the heated plates on dry hair, but the one thing to note, you have to be cautious so you don't use the heated plates on wet hair. Only the airflow settings with the high, medium, low, and cool air on damp hair. And then once your hair is dry, you can move to the heated plates, which I think is awesome. And it does show you the indicator orange with the heated plates, and then you just move your dial, and there you go, that's the air. The next biggest positive is, I love that. It's not noisy. It's turned on right now, but with the airflow. I think that's phenomenal. That way you don't have that constant noise in the background. And it's not too loud, honestly. It's really not that loud because all the airflow is inside, so that way it's not like blowing in your ears. It's very manageable. The negatives, my hand cramped up really bad. It's very uncomfortable because it does open up pretty wide. It's kind of big and hefty. I mean, look at that. It's it's a good handful. <laughs> so I did cramp up around my thumb. I do like that you can use your other hand because of the comb inside. It does hold the hair in place so that way it does guide when you're holding it down, but it does cramp up, that's a big negative. The next negative, yes, the comb is phenomenal, but it does snag the hair. So you do have to be careful to use smaller sections rather than bigger and wider sections. That way the comb has enough time to separate the hair through. Now moving on to the Dyson Air Straight. Let's start with the negatives. Negative, it's very expensive. It's 499 US dollars. It's essentially $500 for a hair dryer and a hair straightener in one. Yes, it delivers, it works phenomenal. It blows my mind how great it does work. The directional airflow is so powerful that it does not use plates. It does not need hot plates to straighten your hair. I think that's the best part. The next negative for me is when I use this setting for dry hair only and a cool shot, it adds static into my hair. It charges my hair. I don't know why, why it happens, but but every single time I've used it with the dry setting with the cold airflow, is it charges my hair. So I don't like that fact. Everything else, I have to be honest, is just phenomenal at what it does. It's honestly almost a five star out of five star for me personally, besides the price and the static in my hair. But every little detail, every little feature is phenomenal, phenomenal here. It's a very smart tool and just the results speak for themselves. There's nothing like this on the market that can dry your hair, style, sleek your hair at the very, like at, at one, in one shot at one time. I don't have to go with a hair straightener after using the Dyson Air Straight. It's just that good. So the question remains, is Revlon One Step Air Straight better than Dyson Air Straight? I think that's for you to decide, to see what kind of results you want to achieve and what kind of hair type you have. But all in all, at the end of the day, Revlon performed. It held its own. Yes, it was a little longer to get the results, but the results are great. You can see the shininess, in my hair, it's sleek enough, it's smooth enough, it's straight enough for my liking. And for $80, pretty impressed with the Revlon One Step Air Straight. I'm gonna end it here, you guys. Thank you for watching, spending time with me, and I'll see you in the next one very soon. Bye.